Welcome to Watch IQ Watch Reviews. On this channel, I review my watches in my watch collection and provide informative details on the watch features and specifications. If you like the channel, please subscribe and hit the like bell so you can get notified on my new videos. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to another review from Watch IQ. Today, I have a Casio G Shock GW M5610 with solar and atomic timekeeping functionality. Okay, here it is my Casio G Shock GW M5610 solar and atomic multi-band six square i call it my rook it's the rook to the king the gxw 56 it has all the same features except the negative display and it's multi-band six and i paid 93 dollars for this during the holidays and uh it's a pretty good deal compared to the king it keeps a little bit more money now i end up replacing the band with the j's and k's NATO strap and J's and K's bull bars. I really like this strap. It's light, it feels good on my wrist. It's comfortable. It's got a really good profile on your wrist. It feels good. Because when I'm sweating and working hard, this band really lets my wrist breathe, unlike the resin band. And this uh, this square has a unique back to it it's compared to the rest of the other squares. Yeah, this is a machine back, not a press back, and it has a serial number on it. There it has the module, 3159, and it's made in Thailand. There's the uh, words on the band, J's and K's. Now this has four buttons. Top left is your setting for your, uh, or adjust for your time and your alarm, etc. Bottom left is your mode button, so you can change modes. Top right is your set plus or your light. Bottom right is your multiband six sync and your set. Okay, there's the light. I like the light. It has an auto light on it feature. So at 15 degrees, when your wrist turns, it will actually turn on the light. So this is the last time it actually received a signal, which is on 223 at 4.04 a.m. So bottom Bottom left is your uh, world time right now, except for Miami. And I really like this feature because I do a little bit of traveling. I can change my city. So if I'm going to uh, Miami or New York City, I can just change that. And it will adjust the time automatically. I like that feature. So there's Rio. I'm just gonna leave it on UTC time for now. So hit the mode button again. And this has four alarms on it. Right now they're all off. Yeah, the four alarms would be very helpful if you need to take your medicine, etc. And you have a snooze, which is off. Then you have your signal, which is off. Your hourly report, I don't like that. So and there's a stopwatch. You start and stop, bottom right. And reset, top left. Now this has a battery indicator too. It tells you where your battery uh, charges. So this is a time 24 hour timer. Start and stop bottom right and reset top left. And we're back to the home screen. I really like this watch. I use it for everyday use uh, work. I need something reliable, accurate, and this was it. Yeah, let's see how uh, thick it is. Okay, 12 millimeter. Let's check out the width. Okay, 43. Not bad. It fits really good on my wrist. It feels really good. It's comfortable with that band. I'm telling you, the, the band really makes this uh, watch wearable for a long time. The resin band's okay, but I prefer this NATO strap, so. You guys see how much it weighs. We're gonna weigh it in grams, 52 grams. Not bad. This watch feels really light on my wrist. We'll check it out in a minute. Okay, there's the uh, the resin band they came with, it, and actually it came with a tool from J's and K's. And to help you like re replace the band, 
so I still have the original band I always keep that so if I want to go back to the stock I can but you know the fun is with these watches is, is doing your own like mods make them make them your watch so anyway this is the box that it came with uh, the watch came in so it's a GW M5610 dash 1 CF module 31 59 and there's the uh, user guide came with the watch and you can get this on the Kasi website if you want it self-charging self-adjusting this is the uh, watch holder that came in the box all your manuals about solar charging etc and then you have your uh, G-Shock International Warranty Card it has a carbon fiber. Usually all these G-Shocks come with that, so it's part of the watch. If they don't, then you have to question the authenticity of the watch. So, I'm gonna, uh, there's my Casio Tough Solar data bank. I'm gonna exchange watches here. Put this one on, see how it feels. Kind of show you the watch on my wrist, especially with this new band. It really makes it look good. It feels good. It's comfortable. Yeah, it looks good. What do you think? It's a good mod. I like the band, and I like the watch. It's tough, rugged. It's worth every penny. There's the light again. Thank you for watching the channel. I'll give it a thumbs up. If you like it, hit the subscribe or the like bell. And uh, see you soon. Thank you.